Ebbets Field is one of baseball history's greatest ballparks. For many years, it was the home of the Brooklyn Dodgers and had produced many of the franchise's greatest teams before they moved to Los Angeles. Many of the Dodgers' best players played in Ebbets Field, and the park was home to many of baseball's most memorable moments, but its greatest was one that would forever change American history. Going into the 1947 season, Major League Baseball had been a segregated sport for over 60 years. When professional baseball started in the 19th century, people of all races were allowed to play, but due to racial tensions between them, it was common for Caucasians to not want to play with African Americans. This would eventually lead to the game becoming segregated, and in 1887, African American players would create their own teams. Then, in the 1910s, an all-African American baseball league, called the Negro National League, would be formed. For many years, its teams would thrive, producing many great franchises and players, and in 1945, a shortstop by the name Jackie Robinson made his debut for the Kansas City Monarchs. In his stint for Kansas City, he would hit 387 and play in the 45 Negro League All-Star Game. At the same time, there were major league teams who had serious interest in signing an African-American player, which included the Brooklyn Dodgers. Their general manager, Branch Rickey, began to scout the Negro League for a possible addition to the Dodger roster, and was impressed with Robinson's talent. Ricky would interview him for a potential minor league contract and wanted to know for sure that he could face the racial antagonism that he would receive. Robinson agreed, and on October 23, 1945, it was officially announced that he would be assigned to the Dodgers' AAA affiliate, the Montreal Royals. In 1946, Robinson tore up the International League leading the circuit with a 349 batting average and at season's end received his most valuable player award. His presence also had a big impact on minor league attendance that year, with more than one million people attending games involving the Royals. Then on April 9, 1947, Robinson would get called up to the major leagues and play first base. Six days later, he made his Major League debut against the Boston Braves before a crowd of 26,623, which included more than 14,000 African Americans. And it would be the first time since the 1880s that the color line would be broken. Robinson went hitless in his first two at-bats, but would reach on error in the seventh and score the winning run as Brooklyn defeated the Braves 5-3. Although Robinson went hitless in his debut, he would have an excellent rookie season, hitting 297 with 12 home runs and 48 runs batted in, scoring 125 runs, leading the National League with 28 stolen bases, and winning Major League Baseball's first Rookie of the Year award. During the 47 season, black fans would flock to Major League ballparks to watch Jackie Robinson play, and even though he had plenty of racial tension, he would endure it, and his impact would not only pave the way for more African-American players, but inspire more Hispanics and Asians to play in the major leagues as well. After Robinson's memorable first season, he would continue to put up big numbers. He made his first of six straight All-Star appearances in 1949, and won the National League MVP award that year, and would be a big part of the Dodger dynasty in the 1950s, helping guide them to six National League pennants and the franchise's first world championship in 1955. He would end his career in 1956 with a career batting average of 311, 137 home runs, 734 runs batted in, 197 stolen bases, a batting crown, and two stolen base titles, and was elected into the Hall of Fame in 1972. Then, on April 5, 1997, 50 years after making his Major League debut, Robinson would have his number 42 retired by Major League Baseball, 
and in 1999, he made Time Magazine's list of the 100 most influential people of the 20th century and was elected as the top second baseman in Major League Baseball's All-Century Team.